all right what's happening guys welcome back to another unboxing video it um it has truly been a while since i've had a unboxing video where i don't know the grade uh and it's something that i sent in long 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 time ago through uh, through rich hen comics and to get signing on anyways this I don't have really high expectations. Like, and so like backtracking back to like, gosh, how long has it been now? Maybe three years since I started doing these videos. I remember one of my first videos, it was uh, a big Chris Claremont signing that I sent a lot of X-Men comics in. And, you know, luckily a lot of them did come back 9-8. I was super happy. I mean, I sent a lot of them their blue 9-8s to get signed. And uh, maybe one of them was a raw or one or two of them was a raw, but... Anyways, and then that kind of kickstarted it all. I love watching other videos from other collectors when they send stuff in. And and then things kind of took like a downturn. It was like, kept getting like 9.6s or I sent a 9.8 blue and it came back 9.8 signature series. And I just like, just kind of got like deterred, I guess. Um, so this is honestly and and I, i've said this i've had some kind of dramatic video <laughs> titles where i'm like i quit and uh i kind of have i mean i haven't sent anything in despite the temptation i know um russell you keep you keep saying are you sending in you're saying for the wolverine thing where it was roy thomas uh gwyneth Gw gwyneth i don't even i can't remember her name right now gwyneth lynn o oliver lynn uh, she's a colorist and I was like really tempted to send my Hulk 181 in, or at least a GSX, but I ended up not doing it just because just no money recently, trying to save up. Got a big purchase. This is this is different. Look at this. Got a big bubble package on this one. Uh, so this is from CGC. Again, so I sent this in raw, and this is a very cool book because I got this when I was really young. And uh I'm not very hopeful that it's going to get 9.8. I, I have a feeling that it's going to get a 9.6. But hey, if I do get if I do get a 9, I'm going to be super happy. So setting expectations low here. Again, I sent this in raw. I picked this up kind of like a Young Kingsley was looking at the comic book store. And uh, I found this and then I, I bought it and then uh, sent it in only recently. It's been with Rich Hen for, gosh, probably two years now. Uh, he just hasn't had a chance to go. It was COVID. He didn't have a job. The signer canceled. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis. And honestly, I think it's that comic. I don't really even know. But without further ado, here it is. Oh. Ultimate Spider-Man. I think this cover is just awesome. Hey, nice signature. Look at that. I mean, this is not the first appearance of Miles, Miles Morales. I think this is the second appearance. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, in the comments below. Uh... I just think it was a wicked looking cover and uh i remember my local comic book store guy he was like hey this comic first came out it's the new spider-man i was like mm, i'm not really a big spider-man collector but i picked one up anyways and uh yeah so looking at it you know good corner Ooh, what is that dust almost dust so i paid to get this pressed and sign O. Oh. oh, right there. Not very good. Few spine ticks. Oh no. Okay, so the chance and it's black too. It's a black cover. That's a color bring spine tick. Yeah. Was that there before? I gotta look back at like the old old school photos. Uh, I'm hoping that I get a 9.6 now that I look at that. Yeah, that's okay. No chance of 9.8, I'll say that much. Hopefully not 9.4, and it is 9.6, okay. As expected, because of that pretty big spine take. Again, was that there when I sent it in? I don't think it was. Because, and I kind of confidently say that, because um, I would not, I would not have sent it in if I saw such a big spine tick. Especially that's a color breaker. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. Uh, 
I think when when Michael Bendis picked up the book to sign, a lot of them do that. They grab it at the bottom, they bend it. So, I mean, it is what it is. I think the uh, hand, people who handle these books try their best, but what do you do? You tell the artist, like, no, no, no. Like, it, it's tough, I guess. And, like, I, I guess, I, I think I did board this one myself. So, can't you know, there's no one... No, who knows whose fault it is? I mean, I've had some pretty bad luck with books that I've sent through Rich Hen. Uh, I've also had some really good luck with sending them through him. So, I, you know, I can't say it's his fault or anything. He's a good guy. But, uh, yeah, I was really, really hoping that I'd get this back in a 9-8. And, and kind of an interesting story, side story, there was one of these signed by Stan Lee. I think there was only... 90 of them or something like that or 99 and there was one that was a 9.8 there's not many 9.8s and um i had a chance to buy it but i oh excuse me i i bid too low and i lost it i kind of regret that yeah so this is the only copy that i have of this actually that's not true i think i have a 9.8 of this i think i have a 9 blue but not a signed not a signed copy yeah i thought this had a chance and that's why i sent it in and um yeah still it's a very clean copy it's just there's that big spine tick color breaking spine tick here that i see now i mean that i see here book is super loose inside here typical cgc but anyways with that this is kind of my last actual sign sending in to get signed book for now at least uh, and, and I'm probably going to cancel my subscription now. I know my friend, uh, Crawl Space Collectibles, he, I was telling him the other day, and he's like, no, I don't cancel it, because you get $150 credit. So you basically get your money back. But then if you don't ever send anything in, and I think Signature Series you don't have to pay for anyways, there's really no point. Uh, you, you can get uh, your value if you send through like third-party signers, because a lot of times they send back through their through your account. So in this case, this came through my account. Uh, I, I use another one called Capture Collectibles, and actually have books coming back from them as well. And they they uh, they use their own account. I don't know what the answer is. Is it better to use their account or your own account? Sometimes I think if you use their account, you get a little bit of benefit because they're a really good customer and they push through so many books. But on the same side, I don't know, maybe then they care less. Look at that, hey? Thanks, CGC. I don't even know how those happen. I mean, I don't know if I can or should complain about this. Let me know what you guys think. Should I complain about this with this kind of, it looks like a hockey stick, actually. But it's a piece of the mylar that was from the inner well that's been pushed here. My fear is always, like, if this gets pushed, it's going to damage the book. <laughs> If it was like kind of down here, like kind of don't care, but it's going to damage. It can press and damage the back of the book and create a dent here. Yeah. But no Newton rings. Not 9.8, unfortunately. It's a 9.6. Still think it's a wicked looking cover. Cool signature here from Mr. Bendis himself by Michael Bendis Story. Uh, I've never seen Car Andrews sign before. And Sarah Pichili. Pichili. Uh, she's, I've seen her sign before, I think, but she did the inner art, not the cover art, so still cool to get her signature, but probably not going to, it's just a nice sight, it's not worth anything, um, especially since this is also not the first appearance of Miles Morales, it's second, maybe, but, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, uh, where do we go from here, I mean, I still have a few books coming. <laughs> I still have a few books coming in that I did get signed. Uh, I'm excited to see the grades for those ones. So a kind of a lie. Uh, this isn't my last, last one, I guess. This is my last one that I've sent them through CGC, but I do have other ones still coming in. They should be arriving probably uh, tomorrow, maybe, or starting next week, next week, Monday, maybe. Yeah, I got, I got this uh, late in the week, so I just wanted to. I waited until Saturday. It's kind of the day that I'm not working and I have a bit more time. But um, yeah, anyways, let me know what you guys think. If 
Um, it's worth keeping a CGC subscription. One thing is, every time I go to the census, I don't know. Back in the days, I used to use cgcdata.com, but now it's there's you can't get access to it anymore. Uh, and then you have to go through like the actual CGC site, but I always have to log in. So if you don't have an account, can you still view the census or not? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let me know how many of you guys do have an active subscription to CGC. It's like, it's not cheap. It's like, I think well over a hundred bucks a year. So it's just another subscription that, you know, in the spirit of trying to reduce costs and reduce uh, spend here, maybe I don't need it. Anyhow, I'm rambling on. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Got some other pretty crazy book coming in soon. Uh, I'll show you guys, of course. Keep you guys along for the journey. I know I've been doing a lot of PSA stuff and uh, other non-comic stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of like my random collections. And always appreciate you guys for tuning in, watching, subscribing. Uh, nothing makes me more happy than when I see you guys leave comments. And... Um, yeah, I just hope I inspire other people to also do videos because it's kind of fun. So anyhow, uh, on that note, got to bounce. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks. Bye.